In this lesson, you will learn how to write the equation of a line, given its slope, and y-intercept. The most straightforward form of a linear equation to use when given the slope and y-intercept is the slope-intercept form. In this form, m represents the slope, and b represents the y-intercept. First, identify the slope and y-intercept. The slope is 4, and the y-intercept is 7. Next, substitute these values into the equation, replace m with 4, and b with 7. And that's it, this is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Sometimes, you might need to write the equation in standard form. In that case, first write it in slope-intercept form, then convert it to standard form. Let's walk through this process in this example. Start by identifying the slope and y-intercept. The slope is 2 fifths and the y-intercept is negative 3. Next, substitute these values into the equation. Replace m with 2 fifths and b with negative 3. Remember, adding a negative number is the same as subtracting the positive version of that number. This is your equation in slope-intercept form. Now, to convert this to standard form, start by eliminating the fraction. Multiply the entire equation by the denominator of the fraction. Distribute the 5. 5 times 2 fifths x is 2x, as the 5s cancel. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Next, subtract 2x from both sides. On the left side, you get negative 2x plus 5y. On the right side, these cancel out, leaving negative 15. In standard form, the coefficient of x must be positive, but here it is negative. To make it positive, multiply the entire equation by negative 1. Multiplying by negative 1 simply changes the sign of each term. This is the equation of the line in standard form. Now, it is your turn. Pause the video and write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. First, identify the slope and y-intercept. Then, substitute these values into the equation. Since adding 0 doesn't change the value, this simplifies to y equals negative 6x. A y-intercept of 0 means the line passes through the origin. Remember, a y-intercept occurs when x is 0. For a lesson on graphing linear equations in slope-intercept form, check the link in the description. What if the slope is 0? Since 0 times x is 0, this simplifies to y equals 2, right? This means y is always 2, regardless of x. When the slope is 0, the line is horizontal. So y equals 2 represents a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at 2. Sometimes, the y-intercept is given as a point. In this case, b is the y-coordinate of the point. So here, the slope is 3 fourths and the y-intercept is negative 1. Simplifying this, you get y equals 3 fourths x minus 1. If you are asked to write the equation in standard form, just convert this. For a step-by-step -step lesson on converting slope-intercept form to standard form, check the link in the description. In the next example, the question does not mention the y-intercept. It states a slope of negative 1 half and passes through 0, 0,6. Remember, if the x-coordinate of a point is 0, that point is the y-intercept, even if not stated. This is because the y-intercept occurs when x is 0. So here, m is negative 1 half, and b is 6. This is the equation in slope-intercept form. For practice, you can pause the video and convert it to standard form. Now, what if the slope is undefined? When the slope is undefined, the line is vertical. Vertical lines cannot be written in slope-intercept form. Instead, they are written in the form x equal k, where k is the x-coordinate of the point the line passes through. So, for our example, the equation is x equals 3. This means x is always 3, regardless of y. It represents a vertical line crossing the x-axis at 3. Vertical lines do not cross the y-axis, so they do not have a y-intercept. They only cross the x-axis and have an x-intercept. To write the equation of a line given its slope and a point it passes through, check the link in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.